If the forces acting on an object are perpendicular, the resultant can be found by examining the horizontal and vertical forces separately. Remember that perpendicular simply means at right angles. In this diagram, the arrows represent each of the forces acting on the box. And a force is a vector quantity shown by the arrows. We can then find the resultant force in the horizontal and vertical direction separately. So in the vertical direction, we have FA minus FB. In the horizontal direction, we have FD plus FE minus FC. We can then use a scale diagram to write this resultant in a single direction. In your exams, you'll only be expected to find a resultant force like this one with a diagram. And calculations will only involve parallel forces. So is there a situation where the resultant force will only be in one of these directions? Well, if the total forces in opposite directions are the same, then these forces are balanced and the resultant in this direction is zero. For example, if the bottom force has the same magnitude as the top force, the forces are balanced, as they are equal and opposite. The resultant force is therefore to the left, as there's no vertical component. Let's have a look at another example. The free body diagram on the right shows the forces acting on a boat. Find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force acting on the boat. So in the diagram, we can see the driving force acting forwards and the drag opposing. Then we have the weight acting downwards and upthrust acting in the opposite direction. So for step one, we need to compare the vertical forces. So that's weight and upthrust. Both of these forces are equal and opposite. So the forces are balanced in this direction. For step two, we need to find the difference between the horizontal forces. So that's the driving force and drag. So that's 1,500 newtons minus 500 newtons, giving us 1,000 newtons in the horizontal direction. Then finally, for step three, we need to state the direction and magnitude of the resultant. And that is 1,000 newtons in the forward direction. And this is because the vertical forces are balanced and the force to the right is greater than the force to the left. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.